Okay, we're good. All right, we we're good. We should get it, dude. <laughs> first, I want to say uh, congratulations on two things. Congratulations on uh, the baby recently, and congratulations on the Browning. Which I want to start off by asking that I was unaware that you were even a musician. But how did joining the Browning come about? Uh oh, Johnny's Johnny's the well, well now Johnny's like my manager, so. Uh, I've I've been talking to him for like a couple years now and then like recently he was like hey the Browning is going on tour you want to play bass and I'm like yeah so <laughs> and he was like all right <laughs> so you've been so in like, uh, out of um, other bands before in the past and you're you play a couple different instruments only only one and it was like years ago like 2013 I had my own band but I was vocalist but I never played any instruments I always did vocals so this is like my my first instrumental based well instrumental based band but yeah not a play instrument yeah hell yeah uh is that is that cool just to all of a sudden just to go in the forefront and just jump right on a tour and and like what is that like just from being a streamer just to like bam now we're playing shows and they're big shows like what is that like oh it's 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 uh it's crazy because i've never i've been all over florida but i never toured so this is gonna be like ah, first tour too. So, uh, yeah, jump straight into it. No, I think what's it's gonna be your fun. secret, bro? How do you get in such a band like this? Stop, stop playing with us, just the manager. Like, how does how does that happen, dude? He's, you said how do I honestly don't know. He just asked me if I wanted to play bass with him, and I say like, yeah. <laughs> this is like Literally. a legit established band to where you think they're not just gonna find like random people and the way you explain it with like other music. Like, how do you get to like skip such a step? Just knowing the right. Uh, you just gotta know somebody. You just gotta know somebody. Yeah, know literally, somebody. I, literally, I think you gotta know somebody. I mean, I have a, I, I, I'm, I'm sure he saw it. I'm sure he, it's like he follows my content. Uh, I have like a couple bass covers, so I'm pretty good. So is there, that, is there yeah. one, is there one I song? Got to skip well, actually, no, I got the giant stuff. You're supposed to have to work our bad. ass off for that, and you just <laughs> right. know the right guy. And you <laughs> right. He got the cheat code. He got the cheat code. <laughs> He's got the cheat code. Yo, is there one song in particular in their set that is just like a little bit tougher than others as far as like learning all the riffs and stuff? No, because um, the Browning is very uh, synth synth led, and then mm -hmm. just the the instruments is like really like background. So it's it's there's nothing like uh, too hard. I mean, it's a, it has some really 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 cool riffs, but what's nothing too hard. Bass lick you got, bro. Got um, for the song for the song Prophecy, I love oh. that song. Yeah, that song Prophecy is sick. And I see you got End of Existence. That's another another good one. Yeah, I was going to jam a bit of uh, End of Existence, but I did want to ask, being that it is 420, Smoke weed every day. Are you, do you partake oh, yourself? Do you partake? Stop lying. No, no, all right, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you the story why I don't partake. Yeah, ready for this? Yeah, I'm going to be like, wow, that's crazy. All right, all right. Um, so uh, 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 when I was younger, right, you know how they always had those... Uh, those those like little infomercials about like like smoking pot and like there was Did this the dog one... get to you? No 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 not the dog. There was this one where this uh this girl she was deflated on the couch. Yes, her and sister. She was like, I... Yeah, she's like oh, I smoke pot. I was like ah! yo that like that put like PTS. I'm like dang I ain't trying to be that deflated. messed with you. I thought the dog one where he's like you never. <laughs> yeah. I know exactly the commercial you're talking about too. No no no, 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 <laughs> nah, the dog one didn't mess me up, but that one did. I'm like, dang. But I know it didn't do it, but I just never, never did it. Well, congratulations mm -hmm. on staying flated, bro. The rest of us are in <laughs> staying <laughs> flated. <laughs> Hell yeah, uh, Keem. I want to do some trivia with you. If you get it right, whether you get it right or not, or we're, we'll spin this wheel right here and land on a couple different things. But to ask the trivia, I need to know what you know the most about. I'll give you a, thing, a minute to think about it, but what do you know the most okay. about? Regarding TV shows, movies, Star Wars, Dexter, Harry Potter, oh, what do you know the most pop about? Culture. Pop culture? Uh, no, l listen, listen. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty like well-rounded with, with like pop culture. So yeah, go ahead, hit me. Okay. I don't know like which, but like I know weird facts. Like I, I watch weird things and yeah. <laughs> what would so, you consider the weirdest thing you watched that like we would all be like that's weird what do you think is the so weirdest? Th there's this uh there's this there's there's this doctor 
on YouTube and he just specializes in corns, like people's feet. And so like I watch Fuck. This is surgical. <laughs> sounds like that sounds like some like pimple popper. Kind of like pimple oh, yeah, popper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the medical field or you just find it entertaining? Like is that something well, that you thought well, of in another life? When I was at when I was in college, I was uh, I did uh, EMT. Ah, mm -hmm. did you get yeah. to drive around in ambulance, or you just went to school and studied? I was in the back. <laughs> I was in the Ooh. back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I gotta Thank ask you. you I gotta ask life, you bro. one question uh, about the channel. I know that you probably get asked yeah. this question all the time, but what particular review would you say is the one that kind of catapulted you to the next level? From from um, so, I would I would say I'll go back to like my first year um body snatcher uh i think it was like consequence or isolation i can't remember the song that was like the first song that like got me like viral is there and, do you uh, do you feel like there's a particular yeah. reason or did you do anything different in that in that review or is it just because it was just time to pop oh yeah yeah so with that particular one um it was it was 2000 no no it was 2019 uh my wife was pregnant at that time but she was in the hospital so i was home alone i came home and uh i was like really hungry so i i, I put some tater tots in the in the oven oh and hell yeah 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 so i live in this like i lived in this 500 square foot like uh studio so the the uh the living room bedroom the oven all in the same two feet away so uh I forgot I put them in and I was doing a reaction at the time. And right when a breakdown hit, the oven went off. And so I was like, dang, I can't stop this video. So I was like, uh, I guess I could just cut it. So, you know, I took the took the tater tots out. I was eating them a little bit. The breakdown hit. I ended up throwing the tater tots everywhere. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. So that like catapulted me. And then my next like huge, huge one was probably like the Lone Shore uh, to the Hellfire. Yeah. Yeah. Like bro, I have yeah. a problem with you though. What about us softy musicians, bro? Some of us can't be super brutal and Stop. fucking heavy, but we still got heart, man. Do you, we don't would you ever would you ever do a soft a softy reaction channel? So like I do listen to the soft things. Like some of the soft things I, I keep for like the podcast. Oh, um man. and uh no, I I do have some soft some soft stuff on my on my channel. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I got to stick but, up for my emo rockers who aren't as heavy, but still Yeah, heavy. I got you. I got you. Yeah, but the, <laughs> you know, the, the, the people like breakdowns. They like, no. They're like, Keeb, this isn't like you. I'm like, you act like I only like breakdowns. I like everything. Yeah, so they're like, it's like a call, really. <laughs> Here comes the hit of you. I'm going to play I'm gonna play a snippet of the Browning, uh, the band that you're about to be going on tour with. And give me a second to look at some trivia, and we're going to try and stump you. Hell yeah, I'm excited for you, dude, to go on that. But uh, Keeb, but I have a Sorry. You go, you go, you get school. I was gonna say, um, part of one of my fucking favorite local bands that are heavy out here is Diamonds of Dust. Have you gotten to review them? Of yet? course, of course. Yeah, they're just they're nasty. nasty. They're wait, nasty. Wait, so you're in Connecticut? No, I'm in New York. I have a song with Christian who's in that band because he just sounds like a beast. But I was, I just immediately thought like you would fucking love that band. Oh and yeah, for sure. My locals. Oh yeah, for sure. They yeah, they're on the channel. Okay, just check it. Just check it. Just check it. Wait, so you're in New York. Where are you at? I'm in California, I'm but I'm I'm originally from Florida, but I live in California. Gotcha. I grew up in Sacramento, so I had a lot of roots in uh, Cali, but no, nah, BG are opposite coast, bro. Oh wow. Okay. 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 That's what that's what's up. That's cool. That's cool. What's up? what's your favorite album that we wouldn't expect you to listen to? Taylor Swift. Jonas Brothers. Nah. Oh, actually, one is Jonas Brothers, but um, mm. Justin Bieber changes. Come on now, Justin Bieber is so fire. I know. Yeah, I like. I like. Fire, a, I like a lot of Bieber songs, for real. Like he's he's. I don't know. If I don't care about him. his attitude. You know, you can be as much yeah, of a bitch as you want, but if you are yeah. singing that good, bro, fucking right. lucky you. <laughs> right. Came I here. know it takes a lot of skill. It's like he can't be lazy about that. He just doesn't have that. There's a lot of work that goes into it. So whatever. Right, especially because it's not really like it's it's. You're relying on your voice, literally. Like your voice is what makes you, buddy. So yeah, if you lose true. that, can't lose that. Facts. Can't lose that. Keem, your 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 pop culture trivia is about South Park. Are you ready? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Here we go. Uh, all right. In the Lord of the Rings episode in South Park, who plays the role of Gollum? Burns, don't answer. 
Come on! Uh, Who plays the role uh, of Smeagol? Come on! In the South Park Lord of the Rings episode. <laughs> Fuck it up. That's wrong. Oh, God. Hurry up. I'm ready. I'm ready. What? Kyle? Kyle? Kyle. Kyle is not correct. <laughs> Chat has go. already gotten it's it. Butters. It is butters. It is butters. <laughs> dang, you said something so specific. Oh, dang, South Park. People still watch South Park. I did it, Kyle. <laughs> now, Kim, I did ask you ahead of time uh, that if you did have hot sauce, go ahead and bring it. Uh, you don't have to do this. But we have some hot sauce here, uh, and I'm gonna take a hot sauce swig. You're welcome to join. I'm also gonna do a shoey. A shoey is uh, we interviewed a band. A sh we interviewed a band from uh, Australia a while back. They're called okay, Lagerstein, right. and they make everybody during their show take off one shoe, and have their right. beverage, pour it in the shoe, and drink it. They make everyone do this yeah. every show. So they made us do it. We interviewed them. So we put it on the wheel. I have to do a shoey right now. I'm gonna play a little bit more of the Browning because we're here to support you, brother. But uh, here we go. Miles on they are DCs. They are they got, DCs. They got miles on them. So that's the common debate: is do you use the brand new swagged out shoes? No, because they're brand new. So you got to use an old one, but one that you know isn't. You know, you don't. Know, not too bad. I know. Those I know. look. Those look like they got a couple thousand miles on them, though. They've been. They've been around a block a time or two. <laughs> they've been around. It's okay. I have a fan. I have a fan question coming in. Oh yeah. Um, not on Twitch. It's personally mailed to me. How often do you get bands that disagree with your reactions, and how do you handle the criticism? Quite often. People don't. People don't realize like uh, um, a lot of a lot of bands that like send me their stuff. I like turned on a lot, like uh, because like sometimes, um, they'll give it to me and it's not even done. It'd be like a demo, and it's like super demo and i'm like i can't do this or sometimes i, I just really now. really don't 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 vibe with it um, i'm not sending him my stuff now bg he's <laughs> like fuck this emo bitch oh is it is it like recorded with a potato no oh well then you, you should be fine <laughs> i got ready to be all right for if i were you recording me i'm all safe oh <laughs> but yeah you you should be fine but um usually like uh the the worst thing i got was like uh they're like you're supposed to like everything and i'm like you can't who like everything. Who the most shit in re your reaction to their video? Like, who, who, like... You can't say that. Oh, Come on. Yeah. Call them uh, out. You, it'd be like a band or what? Yeah. Who's I someone remember... that, like, responded very negatively to you, and you're like, you know what? Fuck you guys. I'm done. Um, do you have one? It's okay if you do. I don't, I don't think it was... No, no, no. So, oh, so this is, like, a while ago. I think the band sanctioned. Uh, this was, like, my first, like, introduction to, like, math core and i really didn't like it whatsoever so they like <laughs> reposted it they reposted it on their uh their like facebook and their fans went at me and i'm like i don't care <laughs> i'm like get mad stay yeah, mad <laughs> it is what it is you gotta be the enemy to be the hero yeah man. yeah you know? yeah yeah what's what's the I, best I, part i, I do want to have like a villain arc that would be cool to have a villain arc when everybody uh, yeah. just hates me what's uh cool. what's the best part of being a dad did you say what's the best part of waking up fold your best part of waking up. cup Oh. Now, what's uh, the best, best part, part of being, being a dad? dad? When I when I come home, my daughter's like, "Daddy," and I'm like, "Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah the daddy's girl. That's the best part. I ain't gonna lie." Hell yeah. yeah! Do you have any uh any any tour rituals that you plan on doing while you're on the road? Tour rituals, pranks, rituals. bringing pranks back. We're bringing um oh, yeah. um. I'm trying to bring back the uh uh like those tour vlogs. Those really cool tour vlogs. So you're, like so you're gonna be stuff. filming heavily while you're on the road. Oh, absolutely. Excellent. Have to. Hell yeah. Have to. Have to. Is there anything in the rest of 2022 that you can share with us that, uh, that you haven't told anyone else? Like, we could get an exclusive. Um, if I didn't have the brownie, yeah. Uh, I I had started, like, a little a little side project. Um, it was going to be, like, a nostalgia core, like, MySpace core. But I joined the brownie, so, like, I kind of put that on a back burner. And we was gonna release, I was going to release a song this year. That was so, the plan. So there's still plans to eventually get that song out there? Oh, yes, absolutely. Yes. Cool. Hell yeah. So yeah, it's it's kind of like a like like a um a, like a studio project. Yeah, I'm getting back on vocals. Yes. Fantastic. Uh if you could sir, please plug or promote anything you'd like right now. The entire time the floor is yours and uh yeah, we appreciate you spending some time with us, dude. Hardcore team um 
everywhere you can find it. So that's about <laughs> what it. if somebody uh, doesn't like using Instagram and they wanted you to review their stuff? Do you respond to Facebook or is there another way to reach you? Yo, Facebook is like the worst for me to respond because uh, Facebook will delete the messages or I'll respond what? to them and then they'll disappear. So I'm like, well, what? yeah. So usually I have like an automated thing on Facebook that says go to go to. That's how I know. Instagram that's why I was asking. <laughs> or, yeah, yeah, go to Instagram or like email, but yeah, it's Facebook is like the worst. I'm gonna insta you right now because I want you to talk as much shit about one of my songs as you can, <laughs> and I'll fucking love it, bro. I literally want you to. What just if I talk like it? Shit. What if it's like, what if you I know? Like it's it? been good for me, and that that makes my heart warm. But I. I'm so you want an intentionally shit. trashed review? Fuck yeah, bro! No such thing as bad press. Talk shit so people can be like, no, it's, it's kind of good, and then the people. Right, all press is good press. It's true. <laughs> Let's go. You know how the scene works. Keem, we appreciate you, man. Thanks for uh, spending some time with us, dude. Enjoy the rest of your 420. I know you don't partake, but we do. But enjoy the rest of your day. Be safe on the road. And uh, you're welcome back anytime, sir. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. You said, you said California and New York. New York, New York. right? What, what part of California are you in? Uh, Southern California. I actually live in like uh, Victorville. It's called the High Desert. It's on the way to Vegas. Okay. Uh, w- Dang, we're, we're going like, on like Midwest. Hey, when I come to New York... When I come to Cali, I don't know what's that. Upstate when I come to Cali, Hall, where are you going in uh, New York? I don't, I don't know yet. Bro, you they're, better know your tour lineups. Where are you playing? They, they, they're, they're still trying to find uh, places. In, Upstate like, Concert Hall, got East you. Coast. Upstate, Upstate Concert Hall, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. But when I, when I'm in your area, let me know. I will get you guys in. Hell yeah! Ooh, one of our one of our I mods does uh anyway. does the you bookings at uh the Whiskey A Go Go. So I mean, I can reach out to him and see if you guys want to play there, man. That's always that's in L.A. A pretty good spot. Try to set it up. I, the only thing I've been to in California is the state is stages. Oh, that's pretty cool. Stages, is pretty sick. I is don't that the is that the country the country thing? Santa, I don't know. Say like Santa Ana. Okay, there's some like country festival called Stages, and I'm I might be thinking of something else. Oh, it, no, no, it didn't no, sound no, like your thing, stages. but <laughs> Santa, Ana. yeah, yeah, I guess Santa Ana. People so. want to know if you're coming to Australia, bro. They're, they're, Am Australia. I coming to Australia? Australians um, are bugging. They need to know. Yeah, so that's probably going to be like next year ish he's going down under yeah i never been i never been a, i've never been out of the country i'm up i'm homegrown gotta get that so, passport bro. I like you gotta get that passport okay, okay. Hey, appreciate it i appreciate it hell yeah dude dude stay safe on the road we appreciate it keem man hardcore keem everybody hey, yeah, hell yeah let's go check your instagram i just look at you love you all right. all right all right all right